Annie in North Carolina, you're on the air. Hi, yes. I was just wondering about the census that's coming up next year. I mean, is it something that we should do? Or advise people to do? Well, ma'am, that's your that's your option if you want to do it. But it's a violation of the Fifth Amendment to make you incriminate yourself to answer dozens and dozens and dozens of questions, depending on which form you get. They randomly send out longer forms. It's not their business if you own guns or what your stocks and bonds are or how big a flush toilet your toilet is. I don't fill the census out. And when the young punk bangs on my door and threatens me, I tell him, get off my property, they're trespassing. I don't open the door for census takers. They're banker slave grocers there to see what their slaves doing and, and and they're training you to answer questions you don't have to answer but is it not uh held secret for 72 years <laughs> no the and i'm just laughing because uh no ma'am uh the uh the, the federal government admits they share all the census data with whoever they want okay perfect thank you yeah, thank you. And then the people that come to your door will just lie. I mean, most of them don't even know what planet they're on or how many continents there are. They think polar bears can't swim. I mean, that's how dumb the public is, is Al Gore can tell them polar bears can't swim and the sun has nothing to do with heating the planet. I mean, uh, and, and people probably tuned in right now going, well, yeah, the news says it doesn't. <laughs> Mercury's good for you. Melamine's good for children. And the sun doesn't heat the earth. And penguins and polar bears can't swim. I mean, why is it hard to figure this out? Why? I mean, I'm here saying don't drink mercury. But is it true you're a Vatican assassin? Did you guys ever find the clip of the Spanish Inquisition? We'll come back with that. The Spanish Inquisition. Don, don, don. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hartwell in Louisiana, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex, it's been over two years since I've talked with you, and I'm calling you today to thank you for letting me make copies of your videos. I have a DVD burner that burns four at one time. I made many copies of all of your videos that I have, and I have all of them. And I want you to know that I give them away. I never accept a donation. So once again, thank you, and may God protect you. Well, thank you, and let me just say I want to thank you for making copies of the film. That's why we make them available uh, and uh, we want people to also certainly support themselves in, in what they're doing. In the past, I even told people to take donations. The problem is they then start selling them and then telling me I can't even sell my own films. I never expected what some people would do, but the power of you, the listeners, getting the documentaries, making copies, getting them out to people has shaken the New World Order, and we're only beginning to fight. So thank you so much for taking the time and energy out to do that. Anything else, Hartwell? I just want you to know that I can't do what you're doing, but I'll do whatever I can. Well, God bless you, and good to hear from you, Hartwell. Okay, let's talk to Lynn in Oklahoma. Lynn, go ahead. Yeah, hi, Alex. I just wondered, did you happen to catch the speech that Dana Rohrbacher gave last week on the floor of the House of Representatives where he called out the globalists and talked about global government? I actually sat and watched the whole thing last week. How long, How long I'm was it? How long was it? How long was it? Uh, 30, maybe 45 minutes. I watched Yes, I did. I, I did see a short clip of it. You know, used to, that would have been, wow, somebody's admitting world government. Now everybody's admitting it, even, um, even, uh, the guy that Chuck Norris likes, uh, the former governor, uh, is, is coming out and talking about it. And yes, I did see a short clip of it. Tell us about it. Well, it was interesting because during the course of the speech, he laid out this whole global warming fraud, and he talked about the, uh, oh, the um, global cooling of the 1970s and how the alarm bells were being rang, or rung at that time. Uh, he talked about his family, and he, two or three different times, he, he flat out said, Americans, wake up. And he did this on the floor of the House of Representatives right on C-SPAN. And I fell out of my chair. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Guys, go to YouTube and type in Dana Rohrbacher talks about New World Order. I need that anyways. I need Aaron to get that. It's about a 30, maybe a 45-minute speech. And I believe no, no, I, I actually saw a clip a few days ago. That's the problem is I spend all these hours researching, and then I get up here on air, and it's like piles every day, and I'm like, how do I even start? But, but see, that's why I love taking calls. You brought it up. I didn't have time to watch the whole speech, but, yeah, that's the good news is we can now actually have real discussions about what's really happening. Very exciting. Uh, thank you, Lynn. 
Brandon, Curtis, Francis, Josh, and others. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, with the start of the third and fourth hours. And coming up, uh, I'm going to uh, get into U.N. censorship in Copenhagen and a lot more. The sunspot cycle. When the sunspots go down, that's the big storms ejecting fireballs thousands of times the size of the Earth. It fit over a million planet Earths inside the sun. And the United Nations is in the news today saying, no, the sun has nothing to do with our climate. And polar bears can't swim, too. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, these people think you're idiots. They think you are morons. They think you are the biggest fools ever to walk the green earth. All right, I'm going to continue with phone calls uh, and a little bit in the next segment. I'm going to get into U.N. goons, silence journalists who questions Gore on Climate Gate. Carbon billionaire refuses to correct the record on statements regarding CRU emails. That's the latest PrisonPlanet.com article by Steve Watson and Paul Watson. You guys print that for me. Thank you. Then I'll run the latest on Climate Gate and a bunch of other news. Uh, here that we haven't even gotten to yet on the war front, the economy front. Uh, but right now, let's go back to your calls. Let's talk to Brandon in Utah. Brandon, you're on the air. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hey, um, buddy. I was just wondering if you have reported on British court issues arrest warrant for Zipni Livni, Israeli foreign minister for war crimes. Uh, if that's news to you or not. It's no, it is news. news. Uh, in fact, say the headline again. British court issues arrest warrant for Zip, Zippy Livni, Israeli foreign minister for war crimes. And, uh, yeah, I just watched a little video of, uh, from, I think it was from BBC. Um, somebody on MySpace sent it to me. So just thought maybe you might want to uh, react to that uh, if, if it's actually going to go through because I think that um, – uh, Bush and Cheney have also been issued, uh, you know, warrants as well. But whatever, I don't think anything's going to come up about that. Well, we'll look it up. British court issues arrest warrant. What was the rest of the headline? For war crimes. Israeli foreign minister for war crimes. Uh, All right, we'll pull that up. No, no, I, I was not aware of that. Definitely lying about WMDs, going into Iraq killing over a million people conservatively, according to the British Lancet Journal, which is nonpartisan. Even the neocons admit that war crimes have been committed. And when predator drones blow up apartment buildings, whether it be the Israeli forces or the U.S. forces doing it, and kill, in some cases, hundreds of innocent people, that is terrorism. Just like if the Muslims do it, it's terrorism. And I'm just tired of unequal justice. In fact, you're right, sir. There's the Times of London. Israeli fury over British war crimes warrant for Tzepi Levini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. In fact, here's the article. Guys, how would I pronounce that? Tzepi Levini. Is that right? Sounds good. So uh, there have been these British warrants issued before by mid-level and low-level courts, and they've always been squashed. So uh, we'll see what uh, happens with that. And I've always told people, this is going to turn into a sideshow. Israel is being built up as the, as the boogeyman. It's very popular to do it. Uh, President Carter does it, and Israel certainly engages in its share of bad behavior and crimes. But it... Researching the New World Order, at its heart, there's something more there. There's something deeper there. And uh, so we'll see what happens on that front. But I do think it's good. It's good that these big modern militaries that are bombing and attacking people living in caveman-level existences needs to stop. So I wonder if they'll be issued uh, war crimes uh, charges against Bush and Cheney. Because, boy, do they deserve it. We'll be right back. Stay with us.